Good evening, YouTubers. T Square, T Square Talk. So, we got a package to open. This is just a small package. This has actually been sitting here for a little while. Um, this came from Universal Coin and Bullion. Um, I've actually stopped ordering temporarily, um, but then I just started back up again with this, what I'm going to call silver price manipulation. Uh, I know some people out there will disagree that there is no manipulation just demand is down um i beg to differ i beg to differ but that's just my opinion and that can't be proven either way uh right now but what i personally believe is going to happen in the near future is that we are going to see i'm taking a quick look here at my uh invoice here to make sure that i got everything that i ordered um what I really think is going to happen is we're going to see a jump in silver pretty soon. Uh, they've they've squished it down. It's now sitting uh, at the time of filming this video. It's now sitting at twenty five dollars. Um, good luck finding it anywhere for twenty five dollars. Uh, that's why I just say it's manipulated. Uh, if you if a price is, in my opinion, is accurate and true, then you should be able to buy it for that price. Um, if someone says that silver is worth $25 and you can't buy it anywhere for $25, then I don't believe it's worth $25. Um, I believe it's worth more if you can't buy it. But on the flip side of that, if they say that silver was worth $50 and everybody's willing to let it go for 40 then I would say that silver is worth 40 um, Supply and demand and what people are willing to pay determines the price. Um, so this right here is an 1886 uh, Morgan dollar. Some might say that I paid a little high for this. I don't know. Everybody's going to have a different opinion. Um, I paid for this right here. I picked this bad boy up for $45. Uh, I'm happy with it because it is um, a really old coin and it is in really good shape. It came from a mint or a, a well, I guess you can call it a mint money bag. Uh, it came from a bag of coins that never really got circulated. I don't know if that's in the coin or a little, little scratch there or something maybe. I'm not sure if that's inside or. I'm almost tempted to try to open that up now. <laughs> um, these things are kind of hard to open, these ones. It's the only thing about these capsules. you got to have really good eyesight to be able to spot where the, uh, the separation is. And I'm probably not going to be able to do it right now. But really nice coin, I think. I'm pretty happy with that. Um, let me know what you guys think. That's a pretty one, ain't it? That's the kind of coin that people see and they're like, wow, that's a nice coin. Um, you know, obviously it's not going to be perfect. It's going to have some scratches on it. Um, but overall, I'd say it's in pretty good shape. You know, let's take a look at what's in here. Uh, like I said, I've been sitting on this. I, I kind of know what's in here, but I, I did just look at my invoice real quick too. So, um... So, we'll take them one at a time here. That is a 2014 San Francisco Mint uh, Silver Eagle. Pretty nice. Now, I know some people say they're not fans of these because technically there's nothing signifying that this did actually come from the San Francisco Mint except for... Um, that it says San Francisco up here. I I take NGC's word for it. I guess I could I could I get burned by that? Yes, um, but I I'll take their word since the average coin collector will take their word for it. This right here is a 2012. As you can tell, I'm starting to put a set together. Um, because that's a 12, that's a 14, and. 
That's an 11. So we've got an uh, adding to my collection. I'm going to be adding an 11, a 12, and a 14. Uh, on these, they're not super old, kind of like the other one. So I didn't quite pay as much. Um, I did pay $41 a piece for them. Some people might think 41 is a little high. I don't think 41 is high. Um, I just got lucky. I got a super good deal. Um, I've been ordering a bunch of stuff and somebody sent in, I cut my hand, you can kind of see, I don't know, now I can't be a hand model, um, I basically, um, I'd been ordering a bunch of stuff, and he knew little by little I was going to try to put the set together, so when he seen these, he said, you know, you interested in 20, uh, 41 a piece, I said, yep, absolutely, so pretty happy with that, um, like I said, building a nice collection of them, so, with that being said, I um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, you know, keep stacking. Keep stacking. Don't don't let this manipulation kind of scare you out of the game. That's just my thoughts, my opinions. Um, I'm not giving any financial advice to anybody. I'm not telling you to go buy. I'm just telling you, in my opinion, what is going on is pure corruption, I believe. I believe that they are manipulating the price. Um, I believe the more people have been buying it, we're seeing the price um, go up a little bit and then come down. Um, and we're seeing incredible amounts of shorts. Now, you know, are shorts fair? Yes, shorts are a fair thing in business. Uh, that's what controls um, price. If everybody thinks something is overpriced, they can go ahead and they can short it and essentially that's them putting their statement out there that it's overpriced. Um, and if you think that it's overpriced, then you don't short it. Um, so in fact, you buy it because it's probably going to go up more. Um, but with that being said, a lot of people, uh, big banks specifically, are shorting silver. I really think uh, right now they're starting to get a little worried about this because for the first time, um, I was listening to something where the Comex came out and said that basically uh, we could temporarily see a price divergence between the price of real silver and the price of paper, but it's only going to be a very short temporary thing. The fact that they just came out and said that tells me that they know that this could cause a problem. Um, now, whether you want to call it the um, silver stacking community, whether you want to call it the industrial silver demand, whether you want to call it green energy and new technology that's using up all the silver, or you want to call it the Reddit um, Wall Street Silver Group, um, whatever you want to call it, um, Clearly, it's being bought up. More and more people are putting a little bit of their money to silver um, as a safety net of what could be coming. Um, we just approved a $1.9 trillion stimulus package. Um, an extreme amount. We're all going to probably pretty much get our stimulus checks. Um, they're going to stimulate us all uh, with a little bit of free money. And then after that, they're going to, we're probably going to have to pay for that. Well, we're going to have to pay for that. <laughs> I was actually thinking about saying it in a different way, but it might be inappropriate for this channel. Um, but um, so needless to say, um, this was my pickup. So I'm happy with it. A little extra to add to the stack and let me know what you guys think. So. Thanks for watching, everybody. And, you know, as always, I got to say, leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys think. Um, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. If you've been on the channel a while, hopefully you've already hit the subscribe button. You got that bell hit for notifications. Leave me a comment. Nothing I enjoy more than reading y'all's comments and hearing what you say, what you guys think. Uh, I We're not all going to agree on the same things, but um, I, think, I think the majority of this community um, that watch the channel. Um, if you're in silver, uh, you know, you, you're pretty much forward. I hate to say it like that, but um, for the people that watch for 
this aspect of the channel. I think they pretty much enjoy this and they agree that silver is going to be squeezed pretty soon. So thanks for watching everybody and please leave me a comment. Hope to see you guys again on T-Square Talk. Take care everybody. Have a great night.